Hello everybody and welcome out to another Dice Tower daily unboxing video. Today we're taking a look at this. This is a game called Busy Beaks, a card game about Australia's bird life. This is from Joey Games. Uh, Joey Games started up by Phil Walker Harding, who is the designer, and Meredith Harding, his wife. Uh, and I guess they're going into uh, starting this business together. These kickstarted uh, illustrations by Sarah Allen. Uh, the cover kind of looks like a puzzle. Um, but... I'm interested to see what's going on here with the different birds and such. Get to know Australia's most fascinating birds in this colorful card game. Each player collects bird cards and gathers them into flocks to score points. Whoever makes the most valuable flocks wins. That's very good. Some of them have special abilities. Uh, designed by Farber Harding. Yunk. Oh, sorry, what does it say? Ages 8 plus. Uh, 2 to 4 players, 30 minutes. So, that seems to be right around. Uh, Phil Walker Harding's sweet spot. Uh, there's no shrink wrap. There are two of the, uh, there's the two like little uh, circle uh, stickies over here on the side. Busy beaks, busy beaks. And let's take a look at the rule book here. There's egg tokens, the bird cards, and then a tree board. Ooh, 14 storage envelopes. Each of these holds 12 bird cards of one type with its reference card, making it easier to store the cards in between games. Before your first game, you'll need to uh, fold together each envelope and construct it. I should put this fully in view. Interesting. Okay. Or also, I noticed that there's like a QR code over here. It says, scan to watch a video that teaches you how to play. It's one of Phil Walker Harding's strengths. Is that his games tend to be pretty easy to learn, but why not also make it easier? So, you put out the cards. You may play one bird card. You may score one flock. You may just draw one card, fill the tree. You just do those steps. Well, there you go. Looks like a pretty simple rule set. Uh, explanation of all the birds and their power and what they do about Joey Games. Bird Life Australia, 1% of... Uh, 1%... Uh, Joey Games is a member of the 1% for the Planet Global Network of Businesses Giving Back to the Environmental Nonprofits. That's cool. So, very cool. That's the rule book there. Let's look at the tokens. Ooh. Ooh. You got eggs. It's all talking about them eggs. Well, what's it go? Oh, this is two. This is two sheets. That's why I was having trouble punching out. So you got you got two. You got fours, fives, threes, twos tokens for these uh, for the eggs here. You got nests. Neat, neat. You got these boards here. This is going to be the. Oh, I solved the puzzle. I did it all on my own. You saw that, right? Two pieces, done in record time. So good. Here's the envelopes for storage. Oh, that's really neat. It has an opening. Okay, I'm going to attempt to build one of these live in front of your faces. <laughs> Hold on to your seats, everybody, because uh, something impressive is about to happen. Come on, can I do it? Can I do it? Truly, can I actually do it? That's, that's like a real question. All right. Uh huh. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Wait. Oh. Oh. I bet. Oh. Uh huh. I bet that I could be looking at instructions or guidance or anything, but uh, I refuse. So. Oh. Oh. This fold. Oh. Uh huh. Yeah. And then these parts here can fold as well. And so. All right. Look at that. Yes. And so now all you need to do is actually put cards in here. But anyway, that'll hold the different types of the cards. The only thing else left to look at in here. I'm seeing more games using this paper kind of wrapping here. Ice cream sandwich paper is what I've been calling this. And this here is going to be a take, uh, taking a look at the birds themselves. Bud Garagar. Three. Big crowd. Draw three cards from the draw pile and put them into your hand. Whoa! This bird rocks. Okay. Drawing more cards. Important. The Eastern Rosella. A cozy nest. Discard a card from your hand. This turn, you only need four of the same card to make a flock. Ooh! Get rid of something you don't want. Make flocks easier. You got Australian magpies. Yeah, you do. Amazing mimicry. After you play an Australian magpie, use the power of the card to its left. I think this is the thing that I've 
I've seen documentaries of that can like copy the sounds of chainsaws and stuff. Tawny Frogmouth! <laughs> Another Tawny Frogmouth. They're in so many games. Oh. Night Vision. Reveal five cards in the draw pile. Put any two in your hand and put the other three in the discard pile. Mmm. All right. So anyway, we'll just keep looking at the cards here. The Powerful Owls. So you can see the illustrations now. Ooh, the Sulphur Crested Cockatoo. Of course. It looks like Bart Simpson as a bird. <laughs> The Wedge-Tailed Eagle. Oh, All right, fine. Now I'm interested. Let's take a look at the other birds. And then we'll finish up this unboxing. That bird, 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 bird. Let me see that bird. How about an Eastern Spinebill? Yeah, I'm all about the Eastern Spinebills. How about the Pong Cockatoo? Okay. The Brolga. Brolga looks like he's wearing a mask. It's like he's like a, wearing a ninja, ninja turtle costume or something. The Rainbow Lorikeet. Beautiful. What a thing of beauty that is. And then the Gala. Mm -hmm. That's a pretty dopey looking bird. I love it. And the Laughing Kookaburra. Oh yeah. All about the Kookaburra. Australia loves their Kookaburras. And the superb fairy wren. Very nice. All right, so that's just a quick look here inside of uh, Busy Beaks. Thank you everyone for coming by another Dice Tower daily unboxing video. Hope you have yourselves a fantastic day.